Okay, welcome to Grade 8 Help Desk. I'm a, a guest Help Desk member today, um, and I have chosen to represent what I'm going to be teaching you uh, with a picture first, and then we're going to work our way back to the math, because you do have some questions that you'll probably encounter where it shows you a picture and says, what math problem is this showing? And that's uh, sometimes a little bit difficult to work from the picture back to the math. So we're going to do that today. All right, so here we have uh, a little person who is apparently going on a little journey here, and we've got a number line. So what we're trying to figure out is what is the multiplication question that is represented by this picture? Okay, so there's a couple of things that, that we can we can know right off from looking at this picture. First of all, these arrows are indicating a direction. Okay? So we know that this little person is jumping in this direction. So we right off the bat know that this is our starting point. So our starting point will give us our first integer. Okay, so the direction that this person is facing tells us whether our integer will be positive or whether it will be negative. This little person here is facing towards the positive or the right side of the number line. So we know that our first integer is going to be a positive. We know that this little person here in their journey has taken one, two, three jumps and that will give us our first digit. So the first number is three. So our little person has jumped forward three jumps on the number line. We know that this is a multiplication question and we're going to do our second um, integer now, figure out what our second integer is. So we have facing positive three jumps of the distance between each jump or the distance of each jump tells us our final number. So here we have 0 to 3, 3 to 6, 6 to 9. So we know that each of these jumps is 3. We know that this person is jumping forward, okay, in this positive direction. So we have a positive. And last, we have where our person has landed here is on a positive 9. So we know that that answer is a 9. And the little person is facing to the positive line, so that's a positive. So this picture is representing the math, the number question, positive 3 times positive 3 equals a positive 9. Thank <laughs> you.